I want to show you something really interesting. This is the European AIFS model, artificial intelligence. Now, before you get hung up, you start clicking away. I don't want anything to do with that AI stuff. It's really interesting to read some of the things that are going in to this particular model. And I'm going to call it that. It's just a fancy weather model that takes in some of the parameters. It looks at past performances, and it really just integrates a lot of that. It's drastically different than some of the operational runs, but they are also hinting at the idea of a decent cooldown as we get around the 10th, 11th, 12th, and 13th of May. Now, before you get too excited and say, oh, you're peddling all this cold air, I'm, I'm not. I mean, I'm just showing you what the models are showing. This is the uh, long-term European Weekly is also showing an idea, not quite as drastic there as the AI model uh, with that cold in the east. This is the uh, GFS. Take a look at the operational run. That is cold around the 12th, 13th, and 14th. I'm showing you this because I'm wondering, do we get a big April, uh, May freeze now. April's almost over. We're moving into May. I don't know. I think it's something to keep an eye on over the next couple of weeks. I'll be watching. If you like this kind of content, I hope you'll subscribe and uh, we'll track this stuff together. Winter, uh, maybe not as exciting as spring as far as snow and cold goes, but it's always interesting to watch. Severe weather across the plains again on Wednesday. Storm Prediction Center highlighting parts of Kansas and Oklahoma. At least that's the bullseye, but look, a widespread area of severe weather. Maybe even some tornadoes, too. That tornado risk across Kansas, Oklahoma, and Texas, too. Really down uh, even to middle and south Texas. I think you got to watch some of these storms that fire up here. And big hail possible, too. A hashed area here. That means it's a significant chance of hail from Kansas into Oklahoma. A pretty high risk, especially here from central Kansas down into Oklahoma. The culprit will be this. Back to the west, this trough that will be swinging through, this cold air aloft, we'll see that really start to fire the storms off as we move into Wednesday. Now, the storms that are going into Tuesday night and Wednesday will start to settle down. And I'll tell you, you got to watch this whole area, too, for slow-moving thunderstorms and maybe some flooding as we head through the day on Wednesday. Some outflow boundaries, that's what it looks like here, too. That will interact with some of the humid air. And look how the storms start to bow out heading into late Wednesday night and Thursday, that could dump some heavy rain, gusty winds, all possible. And that's some real heavy rain possible across South Texas. And the Weather Prediction Center has highlighted this area with a slight risk for some flooding through day two. That would be on Wednesday and a little bit further to the east on Thursday, Friday, now into Saturday, just kind of looking ahead if you're planning where we might see heavy rain over the next couple of days. Showers moving out of the northeast, maybe a few lingering showers early in the day for Boston down to Providence. But we do start to clear out as we move through the morning hours. Maybe a few lingering showers up and down the Hudson Valley. And then a few showers back here across the Ohio Valley into Michigan, Indiana. Try to get going, but they're going to be widely scattered. The big stuff still way to the west overall through Thursday, fairly dry. Weak system tries to skip through the northeast. That may bring a few showers Thursday into Thursday afternoon. And then here comes the big bulk of rain east as we head through the day on thursday let's take a wider look at the country this is thursday evening now we've got our system moving through the central united states all that moves to the east and this is a much wider view i want to really take things back a little bit we're looking at this system that's moving into the west that's going to bring some cold air aloft and it's going to really drop our snow levels and that could bring some heavy snow here from the cascades down into the sierras couple of inches possible, I think. And then look at the rain showers moving east as we head through the weekend. And then look, another system moving through the Mississippi Valley north toward the Great Lakes. That's going to bring more showers here across the Mid-South. And another storm across the west with snow showers into the mountains. Deep southerly flow bringing warm air north. That's bringing the uh, temperatures back up and also the moisture. And we're going to see more rain showers. And then we look long term. Again, here's the GFS taking you all the way out. And uh, there's your troughiness trying to set up here in the east sometime around the 11th, 12th, 13th. Do we see a freeze in that time period? I'll keep watching it. Catch you guys next time.